And President Trump continues to fight for equality for all Americans despite several claims made by the mainstream media. One America's Richard Pollack has more on the president's history of fighting hatred and bigotry in Palm Beach, Florida. Few people in the mainstream media associate the idea of civil rights with Donald Trump. But a few weeks ago, the president signed an executive order to Title VI of the Civil Rights Act. And in just a few moments, I'll sign an executive order to combat anti-Semitism. It's designed to protect Jewish students from a growing number of anti-Semitic hate acts that have engulfed many college campuses. His act coincides with the largest number of anti-Semitic hate crimes that have crossed the country, including one in Muncie, New York last weekend, when a man with a machete slashed Jews celebrating Hanukkah in a rabbi's home. For the left wing, Trump is simply a racist. Here's just a sample. It's been obvious from the very first moment he stepped onto the political stage that Donald Trump is a racist. This is a guy who is worse than a racist. The president of the United States is racist. But most of the president's liberal detractors are ignorant of the extraordinary story of how Donald Trump came to rescue African Americans and Jews in bigoted Palm Beach, Florida. The saga of Trump's action occurred after he bought a Palm Beach estate from the family of heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post. To the shock of the elitist blue bloods there, he had the audacity to invite blacks and Jews to join his club, now renamed Mar-a-Lago. At the time, the most prestigious private clubs in Palm Beach refused memberships to African Americans and to Jews. But Trump went further than open his doors to Jews and blacks. He sued the Palm Beach Town Council for $50 million and pressed them to permit minorities and Jews to join the other clubs. In fact, Trump loved the fact that club members at Mar-a-Lago included such prominent Jews and blacks as Steven Spielberg, Henry Kissinger, and Denzel Washington. The story of how Trump broke racial and religious barriers is worth retelling, for it smashes all the charges that Trump hates minorities and Jews. Paris Denard, a conservative African-American activist who has worked for both Presidents Bush and Trump, recounts the history of Palm Beach's hostility toward blacks and Jews. Back then, there were private clubs that people would go to, very expensive clubs, very elite clubs. Uh, for African-Americans, the, the, the open secret was you weren't allowed to go in there. So if you look like me, you weren't getting into any clubs in Palm Beach at that time. Jews and African-Americans were excluded for the most part in Palm Beach. Trump faced hostility from the town council. Many of them were members themselves of the very same clubs that would not accept blacks or Jews. Trump launched a campaign against discrimination. Denard explains. There was a lawsuit that he filed to make sure that Palm Beach, not only Mar-a-Lago, but the entire city could not discriminate against African-Americans and Jews for coming into memberships and things like that. So it really, it was a, it was a pivotal moment in Donald Trump's career and his life, but also for Florida and Palm Beach. To bring this point home to the town council members, Trump even hand-delivered copies of two key movies. Ron Kessler, author of The Trump White House, or explains. Uh, his lawyer, Paul Rampell, sent DVDs to the town council members of Gentlemen's Agreement, which is about anti-Semitism. And guess who's coming to dinner, which is about uh, discrimination against blacks, and uh, implying very strongly to these town council members that they're all bigots. Denard notes that as a New York developer who worked with Jews and blacks, Trump came into Palm Beach and overturned the order. Donald Trump comes in, opens up his club, Mar-a-Lago, and says, you know what? I'm going to stick it to these elitists here. If you want to be exclusionary, I, in New York, this is what we do. This is how we've always done it. We've been open. We've been inclusive with, with the Trump brand. I'm going to open up my club and make sure that African-Americans and Jews that want to apply to be members can do so. Totally changing the order of things, totally dismantling, dismantling the old order in Palm Beach. For One America News, this is Richard Pollack in Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.